Tony Schiavone comes back to the ring. <laughs> he thinks he's going to do an interview. And he introduces Sting and his illegitimate son, Darby Allen. And they both now, I don't know whether it's Darby imitating Sting or Sting imitating Darby, but now they both come out to the ring lackadaisically, completely expressionless, walking, both of them. No excitement, no... Remember when Sting used to come out and beat his chest and scream, Wow, and it's showtime! Now he's he looks like he's actually legitimately physically uncomfortable at this stage of his life to put that fucking face paint on and come out there and have to still do this and act like this. And he's just walking through it. And Darby Allen is monotone, monoface... You would think a guy that does all that shit, takes all those risks, is an adrenaline junkie, whatever, wouldn't be so fucking mushed-mouthed and boring to just watch standing there. But have you ever heard him raise it? He barely speaks. He never raises his voice. I've never seen him yell at anybody. Does he get mad, Darby Allen? Does he ever change his demeanor? No, but sometimes his custom videos get a little darker. I wish they'd get so fucking dark I couldn't see them all. Well, what a joy it must be traveling with those two. I know. what. Can you imagine <laughs> the conversation? Boy, real two real cut-ups there. Good God. I'd like to have been in the car once in a while with Sting and Luger to see what they talked about. Because Luger rode with me in the midnight a couple of times. and Hey, Sting, I want to tell you something. Do me a favor. Promise me you won't tell your wife. Oh. You do, don't tell your wife. Whoa. Pasta lasagna. Wait a minute. Or, or even. Um, but yeah, but it just stick in the muds. No entertainment whatsoever. Luger was most entertained watching me to Wendy's triple. Anyway, <laughs> um, he couldn't believe it. It was like I, I it, he was looking at me like I was eating a fucking cow pie. I've got this triple in one hand. I'm driving. The grease is down to my elbow. I'm eating. I'm hungry. He's looking at me. I said, Package, how long has it been since you've had a fucking cheeseburger? He said, oh, years. He said, I had some French fries about six months ago. This was 1989. I'm like, how can you live like that? And he was saying the same thing about me. Anyway, uh, Tony tried to interview Sting. This is where Sting just took the microphone and then wandered around and Tony just walked off. Nobody can be interviewed anymore. Sting thanked the fans and then Scorpio Sky and the other page pop up on the screen. And as I met Scorpio Sky is a pretty good promo and I like him in the ring. He's, he's accomplished. His work looks good. He's in a lot of these flippy matches, but you can tell he can actually do shit but they challenged Darby Allen to find another partner besides Sting. Well, sure, you beat us with Sting, basically is the story, but find another partner besides this 62-year-old man and see if then if you can beat us. Does that make any sense? No, and again, like I said, I thought this feud was over a double or nothing, too. I didn't realize this is another one that's going to continue for no good reason. And then after Sky and the other page cut the promo on him and challenged Darby Allen to find another partner besides Sting and see if he can <laughs> do it again, then their video goes off the screen and Darby Allen just, he looks like, I know, he looks like he's going to answer, but then he just doesn't. And then they just go to the break. <laughs> It's the first time in history I've seen the baby faces fucking dressed down, challenged, talk bad about, and they just stand there and take it and don't even fucking say a word, not a peep. And they just stand there with their dicks in their hands and they go to the break. <laughs> I'm crying from laughing because I forgot about that. I was watching live and I was like, what just happened? Why did they go to break? Why did he say something? Why did he do anything? And he went like he was going to say something to the microphone and then thought better of it. Like, I better not piss him off. Him and Sting both, they looked like, oh my God, what will we do? Yeah, what will we do? Where can we go? What will you do? What will you do? 